guys, welcome back. I recently received the PR box from Style Vana and I never heard of them before. I think they are pretty comparable to Yes Style, so this was very intriguing to me because if one site has lower prices than the other, then you know which one to go to. <laughs> I don't think Style Vana is actually as well known as Yes Style, but I recently saw James Walsh do Welsh. James Walsh? James Walsh? Did a sponsored video with Style Vana, so I was really excited to receive the PR box from them and I wanted to show you the goodies that I got in the box. From what I can gather from their Instagram account and their website, it looks like they are very similar to Yes Style, where they sell a lot of Asian, especially Korean beauty products as well as clothing items. So I'm gonna try on most of the products on my face in front of the camera for you guys so you guys can see how these items work on my skin. Before we jump into the video, if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's all about the cozy vibes here. I would love for you to subscribe and follow me on Instagram to see my day to day. I post a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you don't want to miss. Now let's go ahead and jump into the video. This is the box that I received the products in. It says Stylevana and it's a very simple, straightforward box. <laughs> I got four products and two of them are actually SPF, which is very convenient because I always look for new SPFs to try, especially the Korean ones because they are fantastic. And the one that I'm using right now and that I recently ran out of is the Neogen sunscreen, but I'm always open to trying new Korean SPFs because they just have the best formulations and they're super light and most of the time I really like them. I have two of them here to show you. This is by Thank You Farmer and it's the Sun Project Light Sun Essence. It's like a tongue twister. It's SPF 50 plus PA++++. I actually tried this and I'll insert a clip here of me applying it. First impressions, I do not like this product and they are very personal reasons for why I don't like this. One of the reasons is that you guys know I don't like heavily fragranced products for the most part and this had a very, very strong potent fragrance and it smelled like perfume so I just don't feel it is necessary to put in that much fragrance into a sunscreen that I'm basically putting on every day and I don't want it to irritate my skin or anything. I honestly don't know if it would irritate my skin, but I just like to avoid it. But this does have a very strong smell. I can't even imagine if you didn't like this smell to put this all over your face because it's strong. <laughs> That's the first reason why I didn't like it. I don't really mind the smell. I think it smells really nice. If it was like a body lotion, I would actually love it. But on my face, I just would rather not. Even if it doesn't irritate me, I have another reason why I don't like this product and it balls up or pills on my face. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it is the most annoying thing that a product can do to your face because once you put it on, you just have to basically wash it off or work really quickly and don't rub. I put this on on top of my usual serum. I use the Iunique Beta Gluten, what is it called? Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum, this one. It is very moisturizing and hydrating. I love that serum. That serum never gives me issues with products being on top of it, even foundation. So I was very surprised that this reacted really weird with that. Either that or it just pills on its own. It started balling up and it kind of looks like your skin is like peeling or something. I don't know, it's really gross. I was noticing that when I was like rubbing it in, if you rub it in too much, it just balls up and kind of falls and you know which is unfortunate because I really liked the consistency. It seems very hydrating. And after I washed this off, my face was so baby soft. Like this makes your skin so, so soft. So I don't know, maybe I'll try it another time with a different serum and see if I get the same results. So those are my initial thoughts on this sun essence. I might actually go online to see what the reviews are like because I'm curious if that's happened to anyone else. They sent me another SPF. I'm actually really, really excited to try this because I've seen this being talked about on YouTube for forever and so many people talk about it and I haven't tried it yet. This is the Biore UV Watery Essence. First of all, I'm not sure if this Biore is the same brand as like the American Biore. 
You know what I'm talking about? Like the Bior strips and stuff like, like the nose strips. Is that the same brand? Because I'm a little confused because for my entire life I thought that was an American brand, but it looks like it's Japanese. Besides the point, this is their Watery Essence with SPF 50. I love how most Korean and other Asian sunscreens are always SPF of 50 or higher. That just makes me feel really protected. Take it off the packaging and feel the consistency because I have been absolutely dying to try this out for myself. I'm gonna just shake it up. But this is what it looks like. Um, this is the Biore UV Sun Essence and then this was the Thank You Farmer. I gotta tell you though, the Thank You Farmer one, the packaging is so cute and very high-end looking. Like it looks so luxe. It's very, very nice. It's like that little squeezy tube. So packaging wise, A++. <laughs> the Biore one is pretty cute too, but it's more standard. Okay, so this is definitely more of like a gel consistency in my opinion. And I don't know if you, oh wow. It feels, wow. I don't think this is fragranced actually. It might be natural fragrance. It doesn't smell like it has artificial fragrance. I don't know, I might have to check, but this has very light scent. It disappeared into nothing, literally. This isn't that hydrating, but I think this would be really good for people who have oily skin and don't want it to feel like anything. This feels literally like nothing. I mean, it made my skin feel a little bit smoother. It's not sticky, it pretty much dissipated or absorbed into my skin super fast, so I'm very excited to try this one out. I usually like my sunscreen to be a little bit hydrating, a little more than this formula, but I don't know, it might be different on top of my serums and stuff like that, so I'm excited to use this. I have two other products to show you. This is a relatively short video, but I got a lip product and an eyeliner product. I'm gonna do the lip first because I feel like I need some color on my lips right now. This is the Chateau La Biote Laboratories of Nature Wine Lip Tint. So this is the packaging. It looks very vintage, old school packaging. This is in the color Red 02. I can't read the Korean that's on here because my Korean is really rusty. <laughs> I have seen this before and it's like a little lip tint that is in a wine bottle, like a mini wine bottle. It's so cute. Oh wow, I was not expecting it to open up like this. That is very strange. <laughs> That's fun. I thought it would just like open the top part. Okay, so let's try this. I mean, it's a lip tint, so I'm just gonna go right in. Okay, this might be a little too bright for my liking, but... Oh wow. Very pigmented. Okay, it pretty much dries down, but it's not like super dry feeling. Like some lip tints and stains, I feel like they can feel really drying after you apply it. This one actually feels pretty moisturized. See, this is what I don't like about lip tints and stains in general. Not this specific one because I feel like all lip tints kind of react the same way on my lips, but they pretty much settle into the lines and then I don't get like a crisp, full, even layer of color on my lips and it just makes me look like a 10 year old who's been sucking on a popsicle and I'm not a huge fan of that look. It might look cute on some people, but on me, it just looks really sloppy in my opinion. I'm probably gonna not use this and give it to someone who will appreciate it more than me and who won't mind that I just used it. <laughs> the color is pretty. It's just, I'm just not a huge fan of lip tints in general. Um, I would much rather go towards a liquid lipstick or a full on lipstick, lip gloss, anything else than a lip tint pretty much. The last product that I received is by McQueen New York. I absolutely love their liquid pen eyeliner. 
I think it's like a felt tip or a br brush tip eyeliner. It's like super waterproof. I love that one. So I was very excited to see this in the box. It is called the Jewel Potent Glitter Liner. Who can have too many glitter liners, you know? And especially with Halloween coming up, I think this will be a very fun way to add some glitter into your life. Wow, this is... I thought it was going to be black, not gonna lie, but it is just a white glitter liner. I just don't know how I'm gonna feel about it because I'm not a huge fan of these types of liners. I mean, um, Urban Decay has a very similar one like this and I do like that one. It's called Cowboy something. It reminds me of that and if it's very pigmented and full-on glitter, I feel like I would like it, but the base is just very clear. This might be good for kind of like an editorial look or I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. This will be good if you want to just like put it on the middle part of your eye and just like dab it out to get like a sheer glitter look because obviously these are way easier to use than loose glitters in my opinion. But if I wanted a full on glitter look, this is definitely not what I would go for. I would go for one of the Stila ones or even the Urban Decay ones that show up a little bit stronger than this. I'm not impressed with this one at all. And it's not really drying down. And the glitter kind of like moves around. So I don't think this would be long lasting either, but obviously I would have to try this out on my eyes. Maybe I should do that right now for the sake of the video, but I feel like I'm gonna hate it. So we'll see. It's just liquid. I mean, it shows up a little bit. Not much though. I mean, can you guys see that? <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is worth your money. Weird. It does feel really cooling on the eyes, which is interesting. So unfortunately, I didn't like most of the products in my box, but that is by no means Style Vana's fault or anything. They carry a bunch of other Korean brands, and obviously these are all different brands that they sent me, so they have a lot of different options. There's just like Yes Style. If you wanna check out their website, I will go ahead and link them down below, and I will link all the products that I showed in this video as well if you guys are interested. I am so excited for this. And I think I'm gonna try to make this one work because I would hate to give up on this product. It does feel very, very luxurious and nice and moisturizing. So I do like this, how it feels on my skin. It's just the fragrance and the pilling thing that I'm gonna have to try to finagle around. I think this one is definitely a winner and then this one is kind of like a work in progress in my book. I was not a fan of the Wine Lip Tint or the McQueen Jewel Potent Glitter Liner. So unfortunately, I will be passing these on to another owner and that is everything. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. I need some lip gloss because my lips just feel so dang dry. Lastly, if you want to help me grow my channel, please remember to like and subscribe. Stay classy and stay cozy and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Bye!